Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's just going to be a quick one today to show you what I think are either essential things for keeping reptiles or just things that come in really handy. So I'm going to start off with some cleaning supplies. Now the main things that I use are paper towels. Now these are great for cleaning up animal mess in general, drying off enclosures after you've wiped them down, or actually for drying off any rodents that you may soak in warm water for snakes or monitors or whatever. I also use these disposable blue cloths for when I deep clean all of my enclosures. I don't want to use the same cloth for all of them just in case there may be an infection or anything. Um, luckily I've not had anything like that yet but I want to make sure that there's no cross-contamination between any, any of my animals. So all of the disinfecting products I use are F10. So the F10 wipes are great for surface cleaning and general spot cleaning. If you see there's a little bit of a mess, you can just wipe it up with that, and you know that you're going to be you're going to be good. Uh, the next thing I use is the F10 hand gel. Now this is great for using before and after you handle your animals. Again, making sure there's no cross contamination of anything that may be wrong. Hopefully there is nothing wrong, but it's better safe than sorry. Um, it's also great if you own lizards and snakes purely because I've seen with a few of my snakes they get really interested in your hands after you've been holding your lizards so it's really great to use something like that not only for any cross contamination but just so you're not confusing your animals making them want to bite your fingers. Right the next thing I use is the dilutable solution from F10 um, that's vet grade disinfectant it's safe for all animals uh, non-toxic, non-irritating, non-corrosive and completely biodegradable, which is what we want. Um, I use that for deep cleaning their tanks. Um, I just dilute it in a spray bottle and go from there really. Um, it's great for any surface cleaning, also good for cleaning glass. Um, speaking of cleaning glass, I use these cloths. Um, they don't leave any streaks on the glass and leave it nice and shiny. It's purely an aesthetic thing, but really handy. So, whilst I'm cleaning out my animals' enclosures, each of them gets their own really useful box or rub. Now these are clip-top boxes. You see, you can get them in all different sizes. So, my smaller animals get the 5 litre ones, and the larger obviously get larger boxes. So, for my snakes inside, I put a paper towel at the bottom to absorb any, any mess that they might make while they're in there. And I also put a snake bag inside, so if I'm cleaning out during the daytime I can put them in the snake bag and they're not going to get stressed out by any bright lights or whatever. Now, if they're going to be in here for a while, I'll put in a small hide and a water bowl, but usually they're not in there for more than an hour. So I can put all of my animals in here, they each have their own, and I can just do a mass clean out of all of their tanks. Now, the reason each of them have their own box is as I said, so that I can clean out their tanks all at the same time. But also because I don't want to risk any... Uh, if, we, For example, if we ever had an infestation of mites, I wouldn't want to risk anyone sharing boxes, or especially because I keep fabric bags in there. Um, I haven't had any, an issue with mites so far, but just in case, I have the white python mite spray on hand. It's one of those things that I'd rather have it in the house at all times then need it and not have it on hand. Um, as I said I haven't had a problem with mites so far but as far as I know you take the animal out of the enclosure you spray everything inside after cleaning it out thoroughly and you put the animal back and hopefully that will deal with the problem. Um, it's one of those things I reckon it's just handy to have especially if you've got snakes. Um, I wouldn't want them in any discomfort for a prolonged period of time so it's just one of those things it's good to have around I guess. So next up is feeding equipment. So, one of the main things that I use actually is these little Ziploc bags. Now, you can get them in all different shapes and sizes, and they are great not only for dusting insects, but also separating insects to gut load them. I also make sure all of my uh, rodents in the freezer are pre-packed in these bags so that I can just stick them in some warm water as and when I need them. Um, so they're really handy. You can kind of squeeze all the air out of them and get a really good seal on whatever you've got inside. Well, obviously not if it's insects, but uh, great for defrosting rodents in those. So when I'm warming up my rodents, I usually do it in warm water 
and then afterwards I try and get their heads to about 40 degrees for my pythons in particular and for that I use a spare ceramic heater. Now I have a digital infrared thermometer to make sure that these don't get too hot because the last thing I want is to scorch or even start cooking a rodent for one of my animals. So you can just point this, you see the little light there, and it will show you what temperature you're at. So this is also great for checking spot temps in tanks. It'll let you know really quickly uh, the temperatures inside hides and whatnot. So they're really, really useful. So as I said, I use the ceramic heater to warm up the, uh, the rodents after they've been in a water bath. So I'm really just warming up the head for some of the fussier pythons that I have. So next up, we have an assortment of tongs. So snake tongs, insect tongs, more insect tongs, and then I've got these little plastic ones. Now these are great for if you're feeding waxworms or pinkies because we all know how easy they are to squash with bigger tongs. So these were the first pair of tongs I ever got for feeding insects and they're okay, but you can't really feel what kind of grip you've got on them and it's actually quite easy to, um, I don't know, to put a bit too much of a grip on whatever insect you're holding. So I got some of these bamboo tongs, um, same company, Exoterra, and you can get a really soft grip on insects in particular and also with the hook den like that they're not going to damage your, your reptile's mouth, which is really great. Uh, these are the larger tongs I use and actually the largest tongs I use. Um, so these are great for feeding snakes. Your hand is far enough away from your snake's mouth that they're not going to get confused. So next up is a spray bottle for spraying water. Um, not only is that great for keeping the humidity up in your enclosures uh, for the animals that require it, it's also great for spraying down any live plants you may have. I have a couple of live plant enclosures which um, have previously housed dart frogs or invertebrates and this is really great for just making sure that those uh, bromeliads in especially are watered well. Uh, it's also great for any live mosses that you may have. So all of my snakes have um, mosses in their enclosures to help with keeping that humidity high. Um, so if you use warm water in these, I'd recommend just in case you accidentally uh, catch your animal with a bit of spray, it's not going to be super cold on them. You don't want to be dropping their body temperatures rapidly, it will send them into a little bit of shock. So, yeah, as I said, uh, warm water and, yeah, I mean, I use these daily to make sure my humidity is how I need it. And, yeah, it's super quick, super easy and really great. So, next up, drinking water. I use uh, mineral water. Yeah, you can see the label there. Uh, I use mineral water for my animals um, purely because you don't get an oily scum on it. Um, here in the UK our tap water is a little bit um, suspect I'd say. It's full of things that I don't want my animals to be drinking, it's full of things that I don't particularly want to be drinking. So I give them uh, mineral water, it also doesn't have any lime scale in it so it's a lot easier to clean their bowls. Now in case I can't get hold of that as I'd like to, I do have a filter bottle on hand. Um, I fill up my spray bottles with filtered water and the only reason for that is the amount of lime scale build up that you get on the glass otherwise, which is a little bit annoying. Um, so either mineral water or filtered water is, um, is the way to go for me. Now in some of my smaller tanks, trying to pour water out of those big bottles is an absolute pain. So I have just a little mini jug there, which for the smaller geckos that I have, uh, the tarantula as well. Um, rather than trying to fill up a tiny bowl and putting it back in the tank, sometimes it's easier just to fill up a tiny jug and fill up the bowl that's already in the tank. So that's actually quite handy to have. Um, right, so next up we've got a set of scales. Now, if you're a snake keeper, a lizard keeper, or you're raising just baby animals in general, it's really good to have a, like a fairly decent set of digital scales. I'm not saying that you have to break the bank or anything. Um, but I would recommend digital scales, you can get a good reading on them and you can see what weight has been gained or lost. So these have an extendable um, display, that's the word. So these have an ex uh, extendable display on them, nice long cable, which means that if you put a rub on top, 
you're not going to obscure the display. You can see exactly what's going on. You can hold that number down so that if you need to write it down, then it's there. So I'm going to make another video in a minute about why record keeping and making sure that you're on top of the weights of your snakes and your reptiles is important. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. It should be up shortly after this video. All right, so the last thing I wanted to show is not an essential in any way, shape or form, but it's just something I found really handy and it is these cable drops. Now, I don't know about you, but it really, really annoys me when cables are hanging loose or if um, probe cables for thermostats or thermometers aren't secured. So these things are really great. You can stick them to the sides of the tank, you can stick them to the bottom of the tank, you can stick them pretty much wherever you want. Um, the glue holds really strong, so you want to get your positioning right kind of first time around. Um, but I use these in all of my tanks and they're just really handy for securing any loose cables, especially with snakes. I mean, they, they tend to get into everything, they tend to move whatever they can around. So those are just really useful. I would uh, definitely recommend those. Right, so that is... Um, that is the end of the video. I just want to say a quick thank you to anyone that's subscribed in the last couple of weeks. It's been a fairly big influx of subscribers, which I'm really, really grateful for. So uh, thank you very much for that. If there are any videos that you'd like me to make or any questions you may have, either post in the comments or send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And um, if you're not subscribed then and you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and give it a like if you liked it. Cheers, guys. Bye.